right. So if you have read and understood, considering a critical care scenario, kindly tell me how would you manage this patient's pain now? I will manage according to the CRISP protocol using yes. ABCD approach. Yes. I will check for the airway. If it's patent, then I will move for the assessed breathing. I yes. will check for the respiratory rate and check for tracheal deviation and also in the check for any just moving movement asymmetrically. Yes. Then I will assess if the pain is uh, the cause of the deterioration of the patient. Then I will assess for the circulation in cardiac death pulse and blood pressure yes. and heart rate. Or oh, then I'll move to the disability and exposure to patient. After that, I will manage uh, using, I will call for the pain management team. If it's not available, then I will proceed for the, the uh, manage according to the WHO bladder. Yes. Can you explain uh, the WHO's pain ladder? Okay. Firstly, the, there is a non open with medications such as ibuprofen and paracetamol. Yes. yes. If it is no response, then I will move to mild, uh, such as the codeine. If it is not the response, then I will move to the strong such as the morphine. Okay. Can you please tell me how would you define the word uh, pain? This is unpleasant or emotion sensory experience. Yes. It is associated with actual potential tissue damage. All right, good. Can you please uh, explain the pain pathway? How does the pain travel? Okay, first yes. there will be response according to tissue damage, which causes the nausea receptor, which yes. uh, goes yes. to the dorsal horn of the spinal cord. Yes. Via a slow or fast fiber, A okay, or good. C, which yes. is slow. Then this is the signal that goes to the Lateral spinocerebellar tracts, or the second neuron. Yes. This is goes to the thalamus, and finally, it goes to my two sensory cortex via third neuron. Yes. And then through ascending and descending order, right? Ascending and descending, such as the bri or the tal. Yes. Okay. Can you tell me how many pain scoring systems? Do you know? Okay, there is a verbal rating scale and uh, also the, the verbal numerating score and visual analog score. And also there is a functional scale. Tell me about the numerical rating scale, please. Uh, there's a numerical score from zero to 10. Yes. Zero, there is no pain or absent tense. This is the most uh, unimaginable pain. Okay, good. Can you please tell me what are the complications that you can expect if you don't, uh, if you fail to manage the pain of this patient? Okay, it's gonna affect my system. It's gonna affect the cardiovascular, which cause increase in heart rate and blood pressure. Yes. This is can cause uh, myocardial infarction, or it can affect the respiratory system. Yes. It is uh, cause restrictive in the respiration, which retains secretion and cause pneumonia. Also, it can increase the DF, uh, DVT because of okay. immobility. And also, the GIT is cause paralytic alias and decrease the gastric motility and can cause acute uh, kidney injury. Yes. And okay. also, this is cause a uh, Metabolic change as hyperglycemia. Yes. Can you tell me what are the different ways to assess pain? Different ways? Ways, pain. yes. To assess pain? Uh, we can use the verbal numerating scale or the visual analog or the functional. Yes. And? Were to describe what is Wilda? I wanted you to tell okay. Me well, this is a word describes the intensity and the location and the duration of the pain, also the uh, uh, aggravated or alleviation factor. Okay, is it possible to assess uh, 
or you can uh, write, you told me about the complication. Can you tell me what, how would you know if a patient is, since this patient is only taking paracetamol, how would you know if patient is having toxicity to paracetamol? So what are the signs and symptoms that you look for? There'll be nausea and vomiting, and, and maybe you... urine retention, or can cause headache and hypotension. Okay. And also this affects the liver and function, so we should have to check for yeah. LFT. So what management can you offer to the patient who's suffering from paracetamol toxicity? Okay, if it's okay within 30 minutes, then we can use uh, gastric lavage. Or if it's yes. okay on the, how long? two hours, uh, then we can use activated charcoal. Within how, how we, long can you do Within the... 30 to two hours. Yes. Then, then we use activated charcoal. For how long? Uh, also... In the first uh, hour, the... you'll do the gastric lavage and then you'll do the activated charcoal between 30 minutes to two hours of in ingestion. And then if it fails, what would you do? What is the antidote of paracetamol? We can use the uh, N-acetyl-16. This is the uh, relimination of the storage of the glutathione. Okay. And also then we can use... This failure, this can you tell have me, to go for liver transplant. Okay, that's the last result. Can you tell me what is the minimum toxic dose that can be given to an adult of acetaminophen? Uh, between 7.5 to 10, 10 grams. Good. Okay. Uh, this patient is also getting COX-2 inhibitor. What is that? Can you... Explain what you understand by the COX-2 inhibitor. Sorry, what is uh, didn't hear Yes, it's the patient is being given paracetamol and COX-2 inhibitor. Can you explain what is COX-2 inhibitor? Okay, this is the cyclooxygenase inhibitor. Yes. Uh, uh, which cause uh, inhibits the platelet aggregation and the inhibition platelet block. Okay. Can you please tell me, all right, can you please tell me if you've heard of patient-controlled analgesia? Okay, uh, patient-controlled analgesia is electronic infusion uh, pump chamber, which is connected to the patient IV. A uh, patient is able to use uh, the self-administration of the analgesia, such as morphine. Yes. Uh, it is, there is way one-way valve. And okay. also the lock time is set to prevent uh, the okay. frequency can of you administration. Please tell me what are the complications that one can face because of the use of patient uh, control analgesia? Uh, okay. Uh, there will be no. Uh, okay, there will be uh, can the chamber will be damaged or run out of the battery, and also this yes. is limit the patient mobility yes. and can be used in handicapped patients. Okay, what are the safety factors for patient control analgesia? Uh, safety factor this is the dose measurement and also one-way valve to yes. prevent the uh, overdose and also lock time uh, set. Yes. Okay. And also yeah. it is uh, reduced the uh, nursing error and medication error. Okay. In this patient, uh, other than patient control analgesia, what other modalities can be offered to manage the pain? We can Other use the uh, dural yes. block and infiltration. Very good. Good, good. All right, good. Thank you. Thank you. And here is the... Too much noise. Okay. Here is the question. <laughs> 